In this video, we will discuss Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome. But before we start, we have few important exam questions. We'll go through them as we go through the top. We'll discuss the causes, clinical features, complications, diagnosis, and treatment of Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome. So, the question number one is: Which drugs may cause bleeding in the adrenal cortex? Number two: Which organisms may cause bilateral hemorrhages in the adrenal cortex? Number three. What's the type and most common site of meningococcal rash? Number four, what are the digital features in Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome? And number five, what are the sites of meningococcal culture? Now, Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome, acute adrenal insufficiency due to bilateral hemorrhages in the adrenal cortex occur mostly due to gram negative septicemia. Bleeding or apoplexy into the adrenal gland causes adrenal gland failure, leading to shock, hypoglycemia, acidosis, acute renal failure, disseminated intravascular coagulation (DIC), and death in 15 to 30 hours if not treated. Pathogenesis of the syndrome. Number one, sepsis causes endotoxin-induced vascular injury. Number two, tiny fibrin threads occlude the vessels supplying the adrenal glands leading to bilateral adrenal hemorrhages. And number three, necrosis of the adrenal gland with DIC disseminated intravascular coagulation. Now causes of bilateral hemorrhages in the adrenal cortex. Number one, septicemia. The most important organism causing septicemia are meningococci. The other organisms are Staph aureus, group B strep, strep pneumoniae, pseudomonas aeruginosa and tuberculosis. The second cause of bilateral hemorrhages may be anticoagulant therapy or number three coagulation disorders related to blood number four it may occur in pregnancy if there is thrombosis of the adrenal vein number five congenital adrenal hyperplasia may also cause bilateral hemorrhages in the adrenal cortex and number six drugs causing bilateral adrenal hemorrhages three types of drugs number one sudden steroid withdrawal in a patient on long term treatment with corticosteroids causes bilateral hemorrhages in the adrenals. Number two, drugs that inhibit steroid synthesis. They include mitotene and ketoconazole. And number three, the drugs that increase steroid metabolism. And they include phenytoin and rifampicin. So these are the drugs which may cause bilateral adrenal hemorrhages. Sudden steroid withdrawal. Number two, those that inhibit steroid synthesis. And number three, those that increase steroid metabolism. Now the clinical features of the Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome. Acute onset of fever with rigors. Rash. Macular rash that becomes petechial and purpuric with dusky gray color followed by necrosis and sloughing. Arithmetous macular rash especially on the trunk and lower limb occurs but may occur on other part also and that rapidly becomes petechial. Multiple petechi and hemorrhages occur in the skin. Petechi may coalies to form hemorrhagic bullae or undergo necrosis and ulcerate. And the finding in the digits, there is a sharp line of demarcation between ischemic and normal tissues. Cyanosis occurs in Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome due to vasoconstriction. Now complications of the Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome. Extensive hemorrhage in the gland, necrosis of the gland. These were local features and general features. Shock, skin sloughing and necrosis. Digital loss due to gangrene, DIC and death. Diagnosis, hypoglycemia and DIC, hyponatremia, hyperkalemia due to mineralocorticoid deficiency, leukocytosis, thrombocytopenia, acidosis and acute renal failure. The meningococcal culture is done from blood, CSF and cutaneous skin lesions. Treatment number one meningococcal vaccine to prevent it. Number two treatment of the cause. Number three antibiotics. Which antibiotics? Third generation cephalosporins for example 
ceftriaxone it's a broad spectrum against gram positive and gram negative bacteria now answer to the questions which drugs may cause bleeding in the adrenal cortex we already done these three types of drug steroid withdrawal in patients on corticosteroids number 2 those inhibit the steroid synthesis mitotonin ketoconazole and number 3 drugs that increase steroid metabolism phenytoin and rifampicin question 2 Which organism may cause bilateral hemorrhages in the adrenal cortex? We already did it. Meningococci, Staph aureus, Group B, Strep, Strep pneumoniae, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and tuberculosis. What's the type and most common site of meningococcal rash? The type is erythematous macular rash, and the most common site is on the trunk and the lower limb. But rash may occur also on the other parts and the mucous membranes. Question number four: What are the digital features in Waterhouse Friderichsen syndrome? There is a sharp line of demarcation between ischemic or necrosis and normal tissue in the digits. And the question number five: What are the sites of meningococcal culture? These cultures may be done in blood, CSF, and cutaneous lesions.